Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a, an intermediate core workout. So this is great if you've got a sort of base level of core already, or a bit of base level of core strength already. Um, this will look to top that up and get you a little bit stronger in the core. Um, we'll do 45 seconds of exercise followed by 15 seconds of rest and we'll do 10 exercises in total. During the resting phase I'll show you the next exercise so you're getting ready uh, to do that one. Um, and this is a follow along workout, so grab yourself a mat, a bit of floor space, and we'll get started. Right, you ready? So the first one will be some flutter kicks. So all this is, is lying on your back, and then no more than 45 degrees, just kick your legs nice and quickly. Are you ready? Stop there. Next one is a seated twist, so twisting and keeping the core nice and tight. To make it harder, you can lift your legs off the floor. If you're finding that's a little bit too difficult, then pop your feet back on the floor and just do the seated twist like this. You're coming back to do this workout again later and you're finding it's too easy then you can always add a little bit of weight to your hands as you're doing the seated twist. Okay, a little bit of rest now. Next one is going to be a bridge with some leg raises. So on your back, on your feet, bum up in the air, and then just lift the legs alternately. Do you get? and really engage the core rather than just squeezing your butt. Next one is oblique dips. So We'll start off on the left side to begin with, lift up and then we're just going to dip to the ground to make it a little bit harder, up on your arm and dip down off you go.
Okay, next one are some mountain climbers with alternate knees to elbow. So my right knee to my left elbow, left knee to my right elbow. Aiming for nice and controlled, trying to keep your torso from twisting too much. Just work the lower abs. Stay in that position and do a nice simple plank for now. Try and keep your hips square to the floor, so nice and neutral. And make sure you're not sort of sticking your bum up too much or sagging down too low. Try and keep them nice and neutral so your body's in a fairly straight line. If you've got problems with the wrist, then do by all means go down onto your elbows. Back and doing the right hand oblique dips this time. It's exactly the same as last time. Next one is the body arch. So try and get your elbows at head height rather than under your arms, under your shoulders, and just hold the body arch position. Next one is we're going to do a laying leg raise, so on your back and then just lifting your legs straight up in the air. Try not to bend your knees as you do this. And try and avoid dropping your heels onto the floor, just stop just before they touch the floor. Stop there. The final one is a V-sit. 
So last exercise, dig deep. Try and keep your legs straight if you can and tilt your body backwards. So it could be the dish or the V-sit. If you're really struggling at this point, then you can bend your knees a little bit. Try not to obviously let them drop onto the floor. Well done. If you found this intermediate workout a bit too easy, then we do have an advanced one as well. So go and try that one out and challenge your core for that one. Hope your core has sufficiently worked. It's a little exercise routine that you can do pretty much every day. It only takes just over 10 minutes uh, to get it done. Um, and you'll see massive improvements in your core. And that'll translate to massive improvements uh, in your climbing as well when the time comes. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm